Hello everyone, it's me JP from Unique Tutorials. Today, in this video, I will show you how to backup any installed software and use them even after uninstalling in Windows computer. So, without for more delay, let's begin. So, firstly, say I want to backup this respective software present on my desktop screen. So, for this, what you need to do is just right mouse click on the respective software that you want to backup. Just click on this properties and check the installation part. So, you can see here on which folder or drive location it is located. So you can see here so if you find difficulty in finding then you can just copy this you can just copy this location leaving the two inverted commas and you can open the file explorer and you can just paste it here and hit enter and it will directly take you to the software installation folder in my case since i know where this software is being installed let me go to the c drive program files and let me search for mpchc so here is the installation folder so here is the software so what i will do is just copy this respective folder and let me just paste it on my desktop screen so finally we have done a backup now let me try to uninstall this software which i have done a backup So finally I have uninstalled the respective software which I have done a backup. So now let us check if we can use this backup software or not even after uninstalling. So let me double left click on this application in order to run this. And let me try to play a video since it's a video player. So you can see it's perfectly working. That means after doing backup, if you uninstall the respective software, still you can use that software. So by using this method, you can easily backup any installed software and use them even after uninstalling in Windows computer very easily. So if you never known about these cool tricks, then you should definitely give it a try. So if you find this video tutorial useful, please click on the thumbs like button. And if you're new to our channel, click on the subscribe button. And lastly, thanks for watching.